After raising families and working for nearly 45 years, we recognise the time is now for us to do something for ourselves. Our long-term plan was to travel Australia and enjoy the great sights this country has. This is why we bought our Ocker three years ago and a caravan for Christmas last year. This caused us some grief in working out what needed to be discarded and what could be kept. We found an opportunity that would allow us a base camp to come back to and a place to store our memories. This opportunity was in the form of an old school in a remote country town. It has taken around a month, but at least we are now the owners of the property. So I've pulled and up as at the our WA old fire school, season approaches. Going to start doing we some were work allowed to, to carry out some mitigation work. And I spent five days out there clearing tall grass, a lot of grass and removing fire there. hazards. Nearly everything to build a fire hazard with a hundred year old building that's made of wood. I also collected and bagged the asbestos remains of a fallen shed ready for disposal. In this area here is the a old boy's shed. toilet was also in need of some repair to prevent a wall and from collapsing. There is a fair bit of what looks like to be asbestos here. I'm going to tidy this up sometime over the next couple of days. Um, there's a fair bit of it, a lot more than I thought originally. I have got some asbestos clearing uh, or safety gear, so I'll bag it all up and it'll be ready to go to the tip. This side, I'm just going to mark out some um, daffodils that are in the weeds over here, and I'm going to get the mower out and mow it all. At this stage, we have early access to the property to mitigate some of this fire risk, so have to bring everything up in a trailer, and there's a fair bit to unload including a ride on lawnmower that I've pinched my brother Paul. Um, he doesn't need it anymore. Um, so it looks like I'm going to use it. And it's going to be a real bonus clearing all this grass. Clearing the front of the yard of grass is basically hidden behind this pile here, but you can see the height of it. The shed keys were left for us, so I'm going to use this opportunity to investigate the shed for the first time. I've just fixed up two locks, replaced that one there. Let's go and have a look what's inside this thing. sure what it is. Yeah. Looks like this is their burnout tyres. That means there's power here. Oh look at that. There'd be lights. These movies make hard work seem really quick. On this trip, I have brought up material to fix the boy's dunny, which was in need of some repairs to prevent a wall from collapsing. I'm back at our school. Looks like someone's been fanging around the race course. Cricket pitch, and this is the oval that I cleaned last week. Oops, looks like I hit a bottle. A pile of rubbish that I collected last week. We'll be going to the tip probably tomorrow or early on Sunday. So far we have moved four big trailer loads of rubbish to the tip and there are still plenty more on the block that needs to go. I drove up after work one Friday and I had to clean the floor to get the crap off it. 
I bought the cheapest vacuum cleaner I could from Bunnings and it was worse than one being blocked. Back at the old school, doing a clean up. Clean up's not actually to live in here. Clean up's just to clean up the rubbish that was left behind. Next area to attend to is the kitchen area and that little storeroom. Gonna sweep out all the dirt. Well, what a bit of a difference this makes. Vacuumed the whole lot out and just hosed all the dust out. Fortunately, down in the corners, there are a couple of holes that um, mice and rats have been coming through. It allows the water to get out. And this is the storeroom. So all the shelves have been hosed down. They do need another clean with the, some bleach and stuff to get rid of all the bugs and this needs painting, but oh, it's come up a whole lot cleaner than what it was. So ends another day at school. Done a fair bit of work today. Cleaned up inside, Paul helped in the kitchen, did a really good job there. Half the asbestos is gone, bagged up, there's 24 bags there, plus three big ones, uh, 27 bags. There's another pile there that um, I'll have to tape up, it's actually quite heavy. Gone around and picked up a lot of broken shit, thanks for the tip. Yeah. Oh, there's a, the other chainsaw up there. Yeah, it's a bit blunt that one, mate. You reckon it's a bit blunt? Yeah. yeah. Found it very hard to cut with. You're right. It's blunt, all right. I'm going to leave it there because it's got lots of spiders on it. Started work on pulling down a couple of the iron sheets that are on the old dunny. The bits of wood that were holding it up had been either eaten by white ants or rotten result was the same so I've started working on that it's actually quite interesting when you uh, expose some of the lower surfaces of uh, the original concrete you can see quite clearly it's bush concrete just made with cement and whatever was local around the gr ground so just gravel so I've just got to dig this hole out a bit more to put a post up and run a purl along I think I might have to put another another post in that corner there um, lucky I've got two um, we'll see how we go After a few hours work, the sheets of uh, corrugated iron go back on and it actually looks a whole lot better than what it was. I reckon that doesn't look too bad. No. Well, it's time to start the asbestos cleanup. First things first, PPE.
just whack some gloves on and I should be good to go. This is the last bagging of the asbestos that I had to do. It was actually a particularly horrible job. It took me quite a few hours to get it finished, but I'm glad it's done now.